good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another jasmine update now in our very last update we were looking at the price that's sitting right around these levels and we were expecting a pullback to show up in the market and for sure we finally got that right here so we want to look at the price that one more time to try and see where we have actually advanced with this wall structure on the jasmine price set is there anything to look forward to in the immediate short term we'll also take a look at the price set from a longer time from a perspective as well as other charts which are outside the jasmine price set and then we'll tie all those things together and come up with a nice conclusion right but before i get into today's content i just want to kindly ask you to help me spread this video by delicately tapping the like button because it really really helps with the youtube algorithm people looking for jasmine content will now be able to find this video much 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 more easily right and without me running my mouth too much let me actually get into the real stuff right here so uh, from the very last video we were looking at this structure here and we were seeing five waves to the upside right here so this would be one two three four five waves right here so this is a complete elliott wave count and things that usually follows after that right here is an abc correction now on a 12 time frame it looks like it's a big move but it's not really a big move right here so it looks like the abc correction is already in play and uh the only thing that we really really can't say right here is how far the C leg is going to go right but if i would make a wild guess as i said in the last video right here i would go on and uh, try to figure out where my fib adjustment levels are so let's go ahead and grab the fib adjustment tool right here so let's go from the very bottom to the very top right here the usual suspects as we said is the 0.5 fib adjustment level as well as the 0.618 fib adjustment level so uh in my own opinion anyway between uh 0.004 dollars there up until 0 0.0042 or 0 0.043 will be a load up zone for me right here this whole zone you see in between these lines here i will actually be loading uh jasmine points right here in this zone right but is there anything else other than the elio 12 counts that is indicating that the jasmine price that may be poised for a pullback right here let's uh actually uh, check the structure that we have right here on a 12 time frame so we can see that we actually have what um you know upward stopping support right here and we also have got um upward sloping resistance right here so i mean this is not the perfect perfect drawing right here but i can see an upward channel and uh, i can actually manipulate it a little bit to look like a falling wedge right here, actually a rising wedge so if it's a rising wedge it would be a very bearish pattern right here because normally your price target is um the very bottom of the wedge right here but I mean if we want to get rid of all our biases right here let's quickly go ahead and flip the chart so that we can look at it from a different perspective right now when you flip the price chart, you can actually start seeing the wedge much more clearer and you could actually manipulate it to look at like this and this is actually a much better falling wedge right here so i mean if this was a falling wedge we would be saying that the price again is somewhere around uh these levels right here or even all the way down to something like 0 0.0035 but the fact of the matter is this thing is inverted right here so if we go back to the normal price set right here you can actually see how bearish it is here this is your rising wedge and uh, the price i guess would be anywhere around this point right here or even this point right here. as you could see that um you can change and uh, manipulate it according to you know the best looking structure there right so yeah these are the things that i see here on the price set in the immediate short term a short term pullback right here to levels as i mentioned right here point zero zero four two or four three and the lowest point being point zero zero four dollars there right obviously we still have got our long-term price targets which are really really looking good we also have got this uh, falling watch that we have on a daily time frame as well as on a three daily time frame it's looking pretty pretty good so two room will actually like the worst case scenario for us to pull back all the way down right here because would have essentially back tested it and hopefully we'll do it successfully and then we can go ahead and reach our price i guess that will be something like a point um that's actually basically four cents and uh, 11 cents nine to 11 cents right right there right it's something that is very possible as you can see from the very last uh, big move that we have on the jasmine price that we had something like a 40 4, and something that's a 46x that's very very good right here i also wanted to show you from a few adjustment perspective just uh you know retracing this move right here on the jasmine price set just to the point three point two three six fib adjustment level uh is more than a 25x right here so the jasmine price set has got a lot a, a very big opportunity right here. you can see 27x just to 
catch up with the 0.236 people just my level that's amazing right here that's why i'm never going to give up on my jasmine uh, i know obviously the token has crashed something like a 99 percent or something and that's okay i know like uh, if i continue dollar cost averaging right here one day is one day and the price that will come to some levels like this one's right here so um i also wanted to show you the bitcoin price set we were looking for resistance right here uh, we are here and uh, you can see that yeah we're actually getting rejected and this is the moment i was saying that when something like this starts happening for the bitcoin price set the jasmine price set is not going to be exception it's also going to be affected by this right obviously this week i mean we can expect a lot of volatility because the fed is going to be announcing like uh, if they are going to increase rates or something like that the market is expecting something like a 25 basis points i don't know if that is going to come into fruition but uh, i mean we, it's really, really hard to try and figure out what the fed is going to do i mean they've always i know acted in some weird way right so we'll see what happens this week but uh, a lot of volatility is coming into the market and uh, in my own opinion i see the jasmine price set pulling back a little bit under normal circumstances unless something else happens right here but this is just my own opinion and i wouldn't actually advise you to take this as financial advice so yeah if you like the content don't forget to subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family like the content and i'll have to see you on the next one take care bye